The medical device industry is one of the largest and most impactful fields of technology. With a market size estimated to reach nearly 800 billion by 2030, innovators in this space must balance innovation with patient safety, security, and ever-changing regulations. This is MedTech Beyond, a new series from DigiKey, powered by NXP, Recom Power, and SupplyFrame. In this episode, we explore the evolution of personal wellness and how new designs are addressing all aspects of the patient experience, from wearables at home to critical technologies used in early diagnosis. David Sandys, Senior Director of Technical Marketing at DigiKey, explains how today's technology empowers everyone to become champions of their own health. I think the most exciting thing, at least from a DigiKey standpoint, is some of the changes that have happened in the centralization of diagnosis and decentralization of data acquisition. VR is enabling not only the training of next generation of doctors to see things that they've never been able to see without being hands-on inside the room with the patient, but it's also changing the way that doctors talk to patients themselves. Doctors can show patients things that they've never been able to see before. They can help them experience it in new ways that they've never been able to see before. And that's gonna help not only with that conversation, with better understanding from the patient standpoint, but really more importantly also, what is the things that, that help that patient understand what is their particular outcome? What does the treatment model look like for that personalized patient? Mark Cohen is the co-founder and chief scientist of SMRT Image, a medical device startup that is addressing the patient experience surrounding MRI testing. My career has been built around the idea that human consciousness is something that's measurable um, and scientifically analytic. When we say it's measurable, that implies that we have to make tools to do that. In the course of doing the work that I've been doing in the study of human consciousness, we developed a method called functional MRI. And functional MRI is a way of observing in real time the blood flow in the brain and localizing, we call tomography, looking at three-dimensional spaces, making three-dimensional pixels called voxels. And those voxels are reporting the amount of blood that goes into any region of the brain. Functional MRI allows us to specifically see what parts of your brain you're using when you're thinking, emoting, speaking, imagining. And in clinical MRI, about one in 10 to maybe one in six patients walks up to the scanner and says no, and walks out. The experience is kind of dehumanizing and it's, it's a weird place for people to be. So we developed a system for communicating with uh, human subjects that involved a video projection. We had to get sound in and out of there. We got actuators that people could control and they could report what they were doing. We could give them controlled stimuli that they'd see and then we could observe on the MRI. In my own lab, when we were doing these functional imaging experiments, psychology in the same tube, which was making all the same noises and generating all the same chatter, I've had zero refusals. Not a single person has come into that space and said no. It didn't take too much to recognize that we had found a way in, right, where we could make this experience not only tolerable, but interesting. That was the instigation of our company, SMRT Image. And SMRT Image is specifically augmenting the patient experience during clinical exams in order to make the whole process more human. Luca DeFalco, Senior Vice President of Global Sales Offerings at NXP, provides a unique perspective on how semiconductor manufacturers are providing the foundation for engineers to design the next generation of medical technology. And NSP is trying to bring together the brightest minds in the industry to help the, the world advance in a better place. You know, we call this the connected, secure and safe world to advance in a better place. And healthcare in all of its declination is a big part of that. Well, healthcare has evolved from an industry of just you know, imaging and diagnostic into made closer and closer to personal health. And all of this into the realm of IoT creates needs for advanced technologies, which is perfectly in line with what NXP does. 
the challenges in the medical space are diverse in the, in the different sectors of medical. If you look at the imaging and diagnostic, uh, the compute power of getting better resolution requires very high-end compute, very high-end you know, microprocessor unit, and that's where you know, NXP shines. So one of the areas that, that we collaborate is exactly on that compute power with the major healthcare you know, device manufacturer in the world. This is one of the components we put inside our projector communication system. This is kind of the main power supply and digital processing unit from that device. It contains a few power supplies, digital signal processing board, microprocessor, data communications, audio amplifier. In order to cut costs down and bring reliability up, everything's integrated in single board. Among the exotic things we've had to do are build RF filters for the power supply in order to make sure that we isolate noise from one component to the other. We believe that what we're doing is both unique and sufficiently outside the main focus of the imaging companies that we have an operating space to work in and that we can augment this experience for everybody. For an outfit like DigiKey, if I call them up and say, look, I'm, I'm building a device, I'm gonna need to order possibly a thousand this part, right? Which is, in the DigiKey world, none, right? And could you please put me in touch with the engineer who designed it so that I can determine whether or not this 25 cent LED is going to be compatible with my environment. It's a very tough space for somebody to get that kind of technical support. We are a semiconductor manufacturer, like all of our competitors, so we're, we're very good in making what we do, which is semiconductors and associated software with it. We reach a lot of customers with our sales force, but it's almost impossible for us to reach the capillarity of a DigiKey that serves million customers, hundreds of thousands of customers. So DigiKey is a place where people go for unbiased information and so in a trustworthy source of information and it's a great partner to work with. It's incredible the speed of innovation that we've seen in MedTech. When you think about what type of technology DigiKey brings to the equation, we've got AI sensors on the MPU side, the MCU side, you know, all of these things, we have 12 million parts that are up on the website. We spend the time looking at things like data visualization. We look at things like how do we get the right parameters for each one of them. We look at things like bringing on the next generation of innovative products. But it's not just about the products, it's how do you use the products? How do you learn about AI and ML? How does that affect the knowledge inside the med tech environment? Whether you learn by reading articles, webinars, or reference designs. All those footprints are elements of content that we're putting together to make sure that our customers can take advantage of the next generation of medtech innovation. With patient health and safety on the line, medical devices are some of the most important technologies in today's modern world. A rising focus on wellness and the patient experience is just the beginning of our journey towards medtech beyond. <laughs>